Hello everyone, I'm Senor Mokolover, and thank you for joining me here in The Road to 56. So, we're playing in Silver Empire, and as you might be able to tell, uh, Canada no longer exists. Um, to be honest with you, that took a lot longer than I expected. It's May 10th, 1945. I believe the casualties were like uh, 1.5 million dead Canadians, I and mean, I lost like half a million. So, uh, there's that. Um, with the Silver Empire... I thought it would be okay if we started coring some of the states as well from down uh, from previous countries because we're basically integrated them by the middle of 1945. For example, Paraguay. I think r really by this time, Paraguay would probably be a core state. Obviously, Brazil wouldn't be. Um, I think a little bit of Peru as well. Yeah, a little bit of Peru. Arequipa, Chile. Um, actually, I, I didn't core all of Chile. So parts of these are cores, parts of these are not. I would. I would guess that by 1945, if we took them out a little bit earlier, they should be good. But anyways, Canada is done. Thank God. I really... I... The invasion of Nova Scotia was okay, but grinding through this was not so much fun, and that's why I didn't show you um, me basically killing them all off. So, um, we're going to move on, though. I want to continue taking out these states because Germany is still at war with the Soviet Union. Um, I'm not sure how, but China is still alive. And so is the Comintern. The Comintern has survived longer than Canada has. Take a quick look at casualties. German-Soviet war. The Germans are about to win. Soviets are almost dead. 13.29 million dead versus three and a quarter. The Caucus Authority has a really cool flag. We have the... What is it? Oh, they're not in the faction. Uh, I guess the Somalia is at war with the USSR. Okay. Um, what was this? No, French Somaliland... No, Republic of Djibouti. Ah, the Empire of Fire. I want you to show you that. That's really cool. The Empire of Fire. Nepal. And then you guys are the Bhutanese Republic. So, <clears throat> things are going on. In this episode, though, we're going to continue taking out smaller nations. I want to see if we can take out Colombia. And pretty much just take all of Central, as much of Central America as possible. So let's let time go on. I've already set up my soldiers to go where they need to go. And we're no longer at war with anybody, which is good. Sometimes we need to be at peace before anything else happens. Everyone, go ahead, repair. I'm grinding out some sh naval XP using my subs. The Navy got a little bit larger. I've got a few new capital ships, which is great. And I really need time to build up a ton of maritime patrol bombers. That's going to be key to destroying the U.S. Navy. And destroying Costa Rica and Panama will be very, very important as well as we get up to here. Because, well, actually... Is Belize? Belize is... Oh, wait. You're still alive? Oh, we have a... Oh, we white pieced out. Oh, with Canada annexed. Oh, South Africa is still there. Okay, I didn't get all that territory. I thought I would. Um, however, I do want to see the Germans win their war against the common turn. Because then I will join the Axis. Probably once they take out the UK. They probably will. And also Ireland. Well, they're the Irish People's Union under James Larkin. So, hello, James Larkin. Hope you're doing okay. Ooh, Norman Wells. Ah, in Canada. Rio Grande's... Ooh, Steel in Quebec. Go ahead and do that. That'd be fine for now. When we go to war with the Allies, I want Germany first to get their soldiers in my lands, as well as across the ocean into South America. And then I'll go to war with the Allies. I think that would probably be for the best. Let's do that next. Just because I don't want to go to war before I'm ready. And I still only have level 1 anti-air. Go figure. Uh, for now, just throw on heavy ship engine 4. That's all we can afford. I will start making this very soon, though. Modern tanks 45. Good. I've been researching tanks as well. Now we can maybe make some tanks instead of just using just pure infantry, which has been quite a doozy, I'll say. Quite a doozy. Keep grinding stuff out. we got plenty of supplies for, for pretty much everyone and everything. Getting soldiers down here is going to be a, a little bit time-consuming because they went all across the entire continent to get over to Vancouver. I'm really surprised that Germany has not yet beaten the Soviets. I mean, they took Stalingrad. They've taken Moscow. We've taken Leningrad. They've literally liberated Finland. Uh, Italy obviously owns part of Norway as well as Spain. And then, well, there's Norway. Um, anything else interesting to talk about here? India has been invaded by Japan. India... Oh, wait, hold on. Um, I own Pakistan. Oh, that's interesting. Um, 
I guess I own Pakistan after that peace deal. Okay, so India's in the Allies. That makes sense. Uh, air innovations. I've done plenty of, uh, you know, focus stuff. That's how I got to the tank so quickly. Doing my focuses. Mechanized experiments. Not bad. Not bad. It's June now. Naval development. No, that's no. That's okay. Naval doctrine. Uh, actually, oh, naval bombers. Yes. The efficacy of airstrikes against naval targets was demonstrated by the Americans back already in 1921. We should not neglect this branch of the Air Force if we intend to wage war on a naval power. Absolutely, and we're definitely going to need it. I just realized, I also have Burma. God, this is that was a weird peace conference. Holy cow. Holy goodness. And I do have a cup here of silver coffee. So yeah, I, I didn't realize I own Burma now. Look at that resource, it's nice. All that tungsten, I didn't need tungsten. And Pakistan, well, they're devoid of, or they're void of any resources, really. That's a little sad, not gonna lie. Do I have any other places I don't know about yet? Like New Zealand? Oh, there's the people, People's Republic of Aotearoa. Oh, they're, they're a puppet of Australia, Australian people's, what the heck? Richard Dixon. Richard Dixon. That sounds oddly familiar to Mr. Nixon. Oh, little waterway there. St. Mary's River. They probably don't like us that much. Oh, oh, the only reason why I need to go to war with the communist states is because they're guaranteeing Venezuela, and I want Venezuela. I must have it. Venezuela must be part of our empire. Awa. Silva empire. You know what? Instead of doing all this, um, everyone come here. And I'm going to just train everyone. Just train, train, train. And you know what? Um, you are seven subs. Stop doing that. Come over here. Good. Everyone comes here. Actually, most ships should already be here. Almost there. Level 5 port. It isn't the greatest, but isn't bad. And go ahead. Everyone's going to train. And we have automatic split off, which is good. We're getting half a naval XP a day. Now that's pretty nice. Oh, we got some more political power. I haven't really done too much with this. I mean, maybe added in a little bit more military staff. Not really all that important. Prince of Terror would probably be pretty good to add in, actually, now. Air base, that's okay. Naval base isn't bad. Uh, nuclear reactor speed, actually, this isn't too bad to add in. Hierarchy, revolutionary mines, yeah, no thanks. The greater good. It's not bad. <clears throat> Resource efficiency gain could be pretty good. What about this? Anything else over here? Press censorship, region-wide industrial integration, develop some more stuff. I'm okay with that. I don't really need that. I need to spend more time just building myself up tanks. Tank designer, actually this would probably be a good thing to do. More speed, reliability, soft attack. Let's get a little bit more speed. The Fabricacones Militares. I cannot Spanish, as you can probably tell. Military factories, thank you. Modern tanks. Um, s speed went way down. So this makes way more reliability. Probably too much reliability. Um, does that hurt too much? That is looking like a beefy tank. Good. And throw on, like, a bunch of that. We don't need all this motorized. We don't need all this support equipment. Um, lowered by two, maybe? Lowered by that one? At least just begin producing them. Because that'll be good. Armor divisions, well, obviously we need to get to modern tanks. Don't even have heavies on here. Modern, 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 modern. Change that to modern as well. And I can only do one more. There you go. 34 combat width. Not going to make them yet, obviously. In time, I will. 300 factories, though. Almost 400. Pretty darn nice. Let's go ahead and continue upgrading our 1944 super heavy, our heavy, or just battleship. Not a super heavy battleship, just a battleship. It's not that special. Level 3 battleship armor is nice. I really need to do more anti-air stuff. Guns. Oh, we're, still, we're getting level 4 right now. We're researching that right now, at least. So that'll be good. Stability, very good. War support, very good. Come on, Germans, just kill them off. They really shouldn't be able to hold up too much more. You have resistance suppression. They still have quite a few divisions. A lot of manpower. Germany has, though, way more manpower. Uh, modern ship torpedo launchers. Good. Get that one next. 
And then we're going to have some super heavy batteries right now. Good. Uh, what about anti-air? That does not help with anti-air. Um, there he goes. Let's get, our, let's get at least level 2 anti-air on some of these bad boys. Alright, we have enough naval XP that we should be able to change at least a few of these. Heavy. Three. Oop. Speed goes down just a little bit. That's a, probably okay. That's good enough to make. 1944s. Make two of them. Plop, plop. Pull you down. And we're gonna need a lot of steel. A lot, a lot of steel. Buenos Aires. Buenos Aires. Buenos Aires. Holy cow, we need a ton of steel. Only one of you. Uh, that's fine for now to continue making all you guys subs. You can come down here for now. Spread out your building processes right now a little bit more. Steel, 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 steel. Oh, oh, we can probably build more steel stuff around here. Actually, Canada's actually pretty maxed out already. Holy cow, Canada's been building up a lot. Um, I don't want to build it really anywhere else where we could potentially not even use these guys. I guess right there, Jamaica could use a steel factory. We got plenty of civilian factories now. Um, Pakistan? Oh, yeah, I can build stuff in Pakistan, too. Burma? You have 9 out of 7. Hmm. Things are pretty well darn developed right now. The Portuguese Republic. Okay. Germany, come on, man. Come on, Germany. 14 million losses. They're still taking tons of casualties. My goodness. That just went up by another 10... 100, is that 100,000 that just went up? Oh, come on, guys. Hurry up. But in the meantime, keep doing what you're doing because I want to go to war with several different nations. Costa Rica. Now, I don't know if the U.S. is going to go to war with us, but let's see. 60 days? Let's see what happens. Because I would like to take unify all of Central America as we slowly make our way up through to America. Let's see. Thickest infantry. I did. Oh, I do want to let you know. I did change some of my infantry divisions. This is why it was impossible for me to invade because the enemies, everyone, was basically using 40 combat width divisions, and I was only mostly using 20 combat width. So that's why I was getting more and more frustrated because of stuff like this. Um, I didn't realize that the AI used some really thick boys when they were uh, doing their stuff. That's why I made my <clears throat> mountaineers the same size as well. You guys, recon, this is pretty much a stand for me. Recon, field hospitals, just in case for manpower. Armor divisions, you know, they are what they are. Thick infantry, but these are the thickest infantry. These are just 20 combat width, which was what we were using before. All right, good. And I did lose the, I did lose a few divisions attacking Canada and trying to naval invade, so. It was, it was what it was. That's probably the best way I can put it. Cool. Now, I really hope we don't get into a war with the United States. Really don't. Good. Let's get some naval doctrine next. Reforming the Navy is more than just having the ships. It's also about knowing how to use them. Amen. Just because you have something doesn't mean you know how to use them appropriately. Um, I want to save my political power a little bit, but let's get Hippolito Elauri. Hello. And two divisions. Good, 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 good. Some real thick infantry. So we'll go to war with Costa Rica. We'll go to war with Colombia. We're going to begin also making a lot of planes. A lot, a lot, a lot of naval bombers. Because we must have ownership of the seas. Because once America doesn't have ships, it's over for America. Well, it'll be a slow grind, but it's pretty much over. Germany has very few ships. The UK? Yeah, I'll probably have to kill the UK ships as well. That's a lot of ships. Night vision, not bad. 1945. Uh, get some rockets. Rockets are fun. I think I like rockets. What are you? Do you like rockets? Rockets are cool. Ah, the Silver Empire. Yunnan is still here, though. Oh, Yunnan. Long Yun. What are the losses for the Japanese and Chinese? So the Chinese have lost 5.74, which is not very much, really, against 4.4 million Japanese, which is... Uh, it's not small, but it's not the large amount of losses. China's still got 11 million, so... They're like, bring it on. We just don't have enough guns. Um, battleship organization, Grand Battlefleet. Yes, yes, yes. That'll be important. Um, 
honestly, just in case I go to war with the United States, I'm going to send all 12 of you up this way. Because everyone north of us from what was Nicaragua is in the Allies, including El Salvador and Mexico, except for Belize. So all of these guys are in the Allies. Oh, and actually if I go to war, hmm... I would have to guard against Venezuela. Angered by Costa Rican posturing. I don't think they'll go to war with us just because... Um, they haven't gone to war with anyone else. Why would they go to war now against us if they wouldn't go to war with me earlier? Doesn't make any s South Africa. Really. South Africa. Oh, it's 1945, actually. E.T. Oh, it's 1948. Eh, I'll get more aluminum. We could probably use more. Oh, we don't really need that much more aluminum. Alright. Cool. Cool. Can not get more steel from anyone else? I do not want to give it to them. Um, who's in this stupid faction? How many divisions does South Africa have? They have 23. I could potentially navally invade them. I mean, they're not extremely strong, but they're not that weak. Death charges, not even using those. Uh, sonars, not even using those either. I kind of ignored that. Better guns, that'll be good. What could work? Who's in a faction in here? Because I don't mind going to war with South Africa. The coalition, the stupid coalition states, which makes no sense whatsoever. Oh my gosh, even there and there. I just want to go to go war with Costa Rica. If, that, if this happens, I will probably go to war with, like, Gabon. So that I can get down... Oh, Japan wants me to join their faction. Um, I don't want to get bogged down in China, no thanks. If these guys go to war with me, I'll invade Gabon. And then I'll invade South Africa. That should probably kill off the entire faction. Because that just doesn't make any sense why they're still alive. Come on, come on, come on. The justification should be done by now. It's nine days, nine days. Exploit Norman. If I'd use my political power, what would it be used for? Army logistics, that's not bad. Army regrouping is pretty good. Um... I guess better recovery rate, maybe? It doesn't really matter. And just in case things go really south, go ahead and put in some naval bombers here. We got a lot of planes. Maritime. That'd be good. Just in case things don't go according to plan. Oh, is that? Oh, anti-air. Good. Finally, some sort of good anti-air. Support companies, 1945. Uh, engineering's okay. Recovery rate. All defensive... Br all plus 8%? Ooh. Ooh, that's nice. That's really nice. Oh, give me my navy. Everyone repair before we begin the war. And just in case, we're going to justify on you guys as well. Or actually, you know what? Just in case South Africa gets involved, I want to kill these guys off as fast as possible. They only have one division. That'll be good. And give me a few days for our ships to repair. Because we have five out of five. Yeah. Battleships take a lot of space. Some of these subs got hit pretty hard on training. Are they guaranteed by South Africa? Yes, they are. So be it. Now South Africa wants to do that. Go ahead and go to zero. I don't want convoy sunk. Do not want to trade with the United States. I'd rather not get enough steel then. Um, actually, we already built up all that steel that we just, we told people to use. Uh, do I have any other islands? Like, I need more space, guys. Oh, right here. Even though this might get navally invaded. Whatever. Cool. Send out the navy. And patrol? Send them out to patrol for now. And then do that area to patrol as well for now. Three, two, one. Are we going to go to war with the states? Uh, let's see what happens. South Africa has been... God dang it. So, Jordan, Botswana, Costa Rica, Democratic Socialist Republic of Sri Lanka, Malta, basically all the allies that didn't want to join the allies. I'm going to have to kill those guys off. God dang it. Belize. Who cares about Belize? 
Um, hold on, hold on. Costa Rica joined South Africa. All right, are we at war with the Allies? I thought I just saw that we were at war with the Allies. We are not. Actually, it's okay that the faction is still alive then. Because that means they won't join the Allies. So hurry up and kill these guys off. That's good. Go to war with Gabon. Actually, I want to go to war with Colombia as well. Do that. <clears throat> what about Panama? That's too many days. Oh, Zambia. Um, I, I don't... What the heck is Zambia? Oh, there goes Costa Rica. Thank God. Oh, they must have been right there. <clears throat> we lost a plane. Alright, so be it, so be it. Um, for you... Not you guys, you guys. You did a great job. Send you two. Invade Belize. Because I don't know why in the world they would do that. Go ahead and do some naval escorting because we want to get down to here. That'll be important. Next up, we got some subs. Make a new task force of subs. Throw you over there. Do some of that. You guys are probably repairing. And then you guys are probably repairing as well, which is fine. Totally fine with that. At least that's ours now. Good. This is all in preparation for the war against the Allies. God dang, when is the Soviets going to give up? God dang, man. Air superiority, very nice. Um, this, These guys, keep doing what you're doing. Okay, maybe I just added 200 of you guys on there. So be it, whatever. Um, this will come in handy regardless. I'm just going to leave them be. They're going to be needed for that. But send a good chunk of you guys to over here. Pop, pop, pop. Good. The infrastructure isn't bad, actually. That's pretty good. Um, I guess, if anything, you could build up radar here. That's good for information. We got some over here, which is already pretty good. We got some over there, which is pretty good. <sighs> build some right there. That could help out. You never know what might happen down here as well. And, you know what? I guess. Build some radar there. Build some radar there. It's Knowledge is power. Knowledge is power. And I like steel. Lots and lots of steel. Oh, good. Good. Very nice. Send the divisions. Most of you should... Well, at least a good chunk of you should be in the water. Yep. Just don't get blown up. Good, good, good. Oh, can I send my divisions to invade Belize already? Um, they're off. Yeah, good. Just... Who cares about Belize? Belize, Belize. They have no divisions. They have a little bit of manpower, but no divisions. Naval doctrine, very good. Advanced medium batteries, very good. Capital ship modernization, sure. By designing powerful ships, we will have control over the seas. Ah, very short but concise sentence. Um, it is 1945. I should probably do some construction. That might help. And Belize will have fallen now. Oh, how shocking. How absolutely shocking that was. We need divisions over here to guard this area. Good job, guys. That must have taken you so much effort. Ah. And actually, that's, that's actually pretty good to build an airport there. Go ahead and build this over here. Throw in a little bit of steel, and then... Ooh, rubber. We don't need more rubber. We need steel and chromium. Uh, the divisions aren't over there yet. That's okay. Just throw everyone over there for now. Because we want to attack Gabon, so we can get down to South Africa. Nuclear reactors, very nice. Artillery. No, we already did artillery. More industry. Um, I don't never choose... I think in my, in my previous campaigns I chose the right one. I guess we we'll continue with the left. Doesn't matter. Who cares? War bonds. What else do we want? Coordinate land equipment manufacturers. Land equipment experience cost. I want to say that this is actually for when you're designing your tanks or your planes, but really for the land, which is really for tanks, that the cost to um, do stuff with that goes down, which is, I think is that that's exactly what it does. I could be wrong, but you never know. 
I'm going to war for the meta. Now this is going to be a, the big question mark. Will we be able to successfully invade Colombia? That's a good question. I don't know. <clears throat> it would help if we had more fighters. Do we... Oh, oh, wow. Oh, I need, I need more airports around here. Um... Lots of medium bombers. Dive bombers. Give me just a little bit more time and then I'll go to war with these guys. Actually, how much longer until I go to war with you? Oh, 25, that's good. Even though I just sent all my divisions away from there. Hmm. Aluminum production? Very nice. Uh, let's get some desert and jungle clothing. That would help for, uh... Areas like this. If we go to war with you guys, how will this turn out? I have no idea. Um, select half of you. Come over here. That'd be pretty bueno. Oh, actually. The other half. Come over there. And do that area if you can. Cool. Three, two, one. Good enough. I hope this doesn't bite me in the butt. Okay, so they just joined the Coalition of Free Commonwealth States. That's actually not bad. If the U.S. gets involved, though, then that's getting pretty bad. Um, All of you guys can probably strike here. Send in the Mountaineers first. I don't know if we'll actually be able to win here. We should have air superiority. Or at least good enough air power. Oh, we're not winning. We're immediately not even winning. Holy cow. Yeah, this is going to be a problem. Now we've got some divisions already over here, which is nice. Coast Guards. Um, oh! Oh, we lost a couple planes against their navy. That's good. It's going to be a pain in the butt. Pain in the tukus. Which means build up more air bases. We're going to need an overwhelming air support around here. More destroyers sunk. Destroyers sunk. They won't have a navy by the time I'm done with them, so... They only have 12 ships anyways. Well, they did have 12 ships. Three, two, one. I will try another attack. What is this? This is jungle. I should made, I should have made some jungle soldiers. Or jungle divisions, you know. You should be able to win. I know they're dug in. But we do have a little bit of air support. Good. It looks like we're doing well there. You guys are doing great. Uh, a lot of you guys have already made it. Let's, let's let everyone make it so far. And let's begin planning an invasion. From Lome, or however you pronounce that, Gabon, Libreville. That'll be good. And throw in you and you as well. That should be more than enough to take out Gabon. Good. 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 And we took that tiny little tile. Very good. Losses. 7,000 versus, well, 6,000. The fall of Pearl Harbor. Japanese forces have stormed and taken Honolulu, the largest city on the Hawaiian island of Oahu. Oh, boy. Well, no wonder the U.S. isn't getting involved with me. They're fighting the Japanese. If they're not fighting the Japanese now, I don't know when they will. That, as an American, is terrifying. Um... Ah, triple destroyers sunk. Lost maybe a plane or two. Oh, are we still at war? We're, we're, we're Trinidad and Tobago. Destroyed another one of you boys. That's good. Let you guys get a little bit more organized. Fighting tanks in that type of climate is not ideal. But can we just move up the coast, maybe? Is that possible? Of course it's possible. And we don't have air superiority. God dang it. I need to research rocketry so I can get more range on these bad boys. Actually, it's 1945... Take a quick look at research. Planes. I need jet engines to get to the next plane stuff. Advanced camouflage pattern. Please hurry up. Gabon. I'm only 30... I'm still a month away from going to war with you? Come on, man. Come on, man. I thought we had something. <clears throat> I guess I am also on extensive conscription, too. Maybe I should have told you that. Cultural norms. Less stability... Oh, good work, Panama. Well, 
don't exactly need to do, need to do that now. Advanced da, 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 da. resource efficiency gain. Hierarchy. Um, I kind of like cultural norms. More resources, a Lo little bit less stability, more factory output though. I like the resource thing. More, 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 more steel. Let's go ahead. And I can't remember what I just said I wanted to do. I really can't remember. What did I say I wanted to do? We're gonna go to war with Panama, hopefully. Holy cow, it just popped right out of my mind. What did we want to do? Oh, planes, rocketry. Okay, I'm glad I, I took my time with this. I, I, can't, I can't think. Rocketry, 75 days. That's not terrible. You guys, well, if you can, get down to Panama. They might actually have a couple forces down here. But we definitely want to go to war with them before they join the Allies. Oh, they have only one division. It doesn't matter. Hopefully it doesn't matter. <clears throat> We're poisoned by Gabon. Good. And then jump down to Cape. Uh, if possible. If You know what I'm probably going to do? I'm probably going to just cut off a portion of here. Just cut them all off and slowly lose supply unless we can take, like, Southwest Africa. So we can get that little supply base and then start building ports. That's probably for the best. Oh, deploy heavy AA in Buenos Aires. Interesting. And you know what's really weird? How are they not dead? How? Less than a million manpower. I mean, guys, Soviets, 98% of the way there. They've lost roughly 15 million. I know that's not a lot for the Soviets, but guys, they're all dead. Good, go ahead and do that. You know what? Throw in another division just because we can. Melt them away. Good. Oh, is this not garrisoned? Oh, no, it's definitely garrisoned. Can we win here? They're not doing super great. Could you come here? Oh, actually, you might be able to. Nice. Ah, uh, the four divisions are arriving. That's great. That's really great. Blow the Panama Canal. Well, I don't have the Panama Canal right now. Those divisions are arriving. Very good. We're doing a great job so far. Nice. Maybe throw in one more division there. Oh, you don't need it. You don't need it. Actually, throw one division that way. Take the airbase. And let's go ahead and go to war with these guys. Okay. They join the right team. We might not be able to win here. Yeah, we might not be able to. Go ahead and hold for now. We've lost 11,000 versus a total combined 45,000. Down Gabonian ideals. Whatever that is. Maritime medium bombers. Just throw 400 of you guys over here. Attach you on the army. Dive bombers. I need a few more fighters. Attach you to the army as well. Alright, this is looking pretty good. Could be going a lot, lot worse. Give me half of you guys. Ten divisions moving up that way. Um, I'm not going to say no to that, so... Oh, you guys just want to attack? Uh, I guess we'll go that way, too. Um, go that way. Thank you. Oh, did we not take that? Uh, nope, we didn't. That's okay. Very nice. Losses. Columbia's divisions have lost some things. Now we should be able to win fairly, relatively, easily. They have no commander. Um, we have definite air superiority. Blasting them away with airstrikes, naval strikes. Well, no naval strikes. We have no naval strikes right now. And that's okay. Mm, three right there. Good. Oh, supply is pretty bad down here. Get bon. We're not going to spend that long down here anyways. Immediately go to war. They'll join the free states. It doesn't matter. There you go. They joined. They lost a plane. Whatever. Yeah, do they have a single division? Yeah, they got one. Ah, capital ships modernization. Glorious. Alright. Ooh, artillery. I like artillery. There's more to win a battle than just soldiers shooting at each other. A modern artillery support is needed if we want our divisions to be of, of any use or to be any good. Absolutely positively. Ooh, did we not win a battle there? What's going on, man? Now oh, we're winning there now. You're unbalanced. 
And they died. Good. So, you are going to invade from here to Panama. Go ahead when you can, just because um, there are the divisions. They might be able to raise one more division up, perhaps. There you go. Go when you can. 31 days a month. Oh, we met them. Oh, we lost. Uh, okay, well, throw four more divisions on there then. You have full strength. Gabon, how many men have you lost? Less than 600. Manpower, less than 10,000. Come on. We got four divisions attacking. How are they holding out? I don't understand that. But let's make do this then. Porto Novo, you guys come here. And then you guys will also come from here and invade. Oh, wait. Yeah, that'd be good. Invade. Oh, I don't care right there, still. It really doesn't matter. Oh, we actually we might be able to win. That would be great if we did. That would be really great. Colombia. Go ahead and attack that way. Take you with you guys. Attack that way. Send one more from here to attack as well so you're not attacking completely over a river. Plains. You guys come here. Um, give me you over here. Split you in half, though. Give me, really, you two come to him. And then you guys help out right there. There you go. Should be able to win. Should be able to. If I told you to do a general push, just be a little bit careful. Like, I don't want you to go too crazy. Alright, that was a bad idea. Letting the AI take control of anything is generally a terrible idea. Oh, terrible. T yeah, this is a bad idea, but they still lost. What the heck? How did you lose? How did they lose? I have no idea. Desert and jungle clothing. Very good. Next up, uh, get some more. Very good. Very, very good. Oh, we lost here. God dang it. How many times do I have to do this? You guys hold. I'm going to send in... Five here. Oh, and then I will send in uno, dos. Two right there. And... Oh, I only have so many divisions I can invade at one time. That's right. Righty-tighty-o. Well, let's see what happens. Grand Battle Fleet. Very good. No, no, I have up to 50. I don't understand. More naval invasion defense, perhaps? Well, let's see what happens. Come on, guys. Do I really need to put planes here? I already have planes doing damage to them. How many more do we need? You guys have definitely the range for this. Maybe I should have deployed them before I did anything else. Yeah, you're not going to win. God dang it. Come on, deploy, deploy, deploy. Yep, and we still can't invade. How are they holding? You're probably 40 combat with. Yeah. Uh, hello, America. How you do? Come on. Alright, I don't know why these guys are taking that long to deploy. That makes no sense. Alright, before we end this episode, I want to take out Columbia. Definitely want to take these guys out. Slowly but surely, we will succeed. And I will navally invade them, but uh, see what happens. I will need time to build up a port here, too. Good. Good. And then... I don't know why supply is so bad here. It makes no sense. Come on. 
Level 6. Yeah, I know they're 40 combat with, but that still doesn't make any sense why that's so bad. Rubber, fuel, we're okay on both of those. Next up, torpedo bombing range. Range goes up, agility goes down. Eh, get more soft attack and planning. As long as they're not attacking me, we're kind of okay with this. Alright, come on, come on, come on. Oh, another military factory. I don't think I need those. But, more planes then. More of these. Probably more of these. That'd be great. Are you in... Oh, don't... Oh, good. Invade there, and then I'm going to help attack. Never mind. That's a bad idea. Just hold. Actually, how, how long... Oh, it's going to take so long. Three weeks? Just keep them there for now. Maybe by distracting them, they won't attack us. Oh, they... The game lied to me. The game lied. They said they only have one division. Now they have two? No, Japan. I'm not invading China with you. Crazy. A bunch of crazy, crazy people. Alright, you should be able to invade. Um, I do not understand it. Why you cannot invade? Wait, where are the divisions? Oh my goodness. Get over there. The game thinks right now that I only have up to 10 for a naval invasion capacity or something. It says 50. I have more than the required... Oh, God, no. More than the required amount. We're halfway done building that. Good. Just hold on, guys. Hold on. I might lose these divisions, which would be disastrous. Actually, give me this army. I don't need that there. Just hold on. Just a few weeks... Oh my god, no, 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 no. Alright, so how many planes am I sending over to do damage? 400? That's pathetic, guys. <clears throat> I hate it when the AI just makes 40 combat with divisions that you cannot break whatsoever. That's so annoying. Alright, I'm getting tired of this. Just kill off Columbia. Just go. Hammer them home. They should be dead by now already. I don't know how you're not winning here. Come on. Serious Seriously? Do we not have... We're not doing, like, 17 damage and that's still not enough? What is this, Vietnam? How many planes do I need to send to not be successful? <laughs> um... Send a hundred of you guys. How many men have they lost? They still have quite a few guys. Um, I lost 42,000, which actually isn't that bad. They have, the entire faction has lost close to 300,000, which is nice. Up attack here. Well, this is, a, this is a waste of time. Just attacking them is a waste of time. Why is it such a waste of time? How, how do they have all these divisions and strength? It makes no sense. Um, can't do that. Modern tanks wouldn't be useful. You should be able to go now. That does not make... I already have divisions over here. Or ships, at the very least. Where are my ships? Where in the heck are my ships? Oh my god. Seriously. How, how do I not have any ships there? Please, go. Please, go. For the love of god, please go. Now, I'm not going to ruin supply here just yet. But I do want you to move you out this way. Columbia will die by the end of this video. I don't care what happens. It doesn't matter. You all have to kill these guys off. I should really research nukes. Good. Kill them off. Make sure they have no strength whatsoever. Columbia, they've, you've lost a quarter million man, men. Is this worth it? This isn't worth it for you. Good. They're dead. Uh, don't move. I need Medellin. Medellin. Good. Um, I'm not going to attack them yet. I want these divisions to move up here first. That being said, we're going to attack here next with you three. You should be able to do okay. There's no excuse for us to lose here. Their strength is not high enough. Their organization is not high enough. You know what? I was not going to stop the attack. 
Uh, there's no... There's no way. Construction. Extraction. Where are these ships? Where are you? Why are you down there? What? 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 Come on! Move! I already told you to come up here and do a job. My goodness. It's it's annoying when the game even doesn't pay attention to what you're telling it. Many times the soldiers face the enemy in disadvantage, be it by land or by air, our armies need to have a way to deal with this problem. Yeah, the game is actively not doing what I'm asking it to do. That's bad. Go ahead and kill them off. Don't move. You should be able to win. Oh, never mind. They threw in a bunch of divisions here. Holy cow. This... I don't care how long this video is going to go. I apologize to all of you who've been watching this entire time, but I'm going to finish Gabon. I'm going to finish Colombia. I don't care what the heck happens. These guys have to die. Let's see. 40 combat with divisions, I bet. Look at all that. Ridiculous. Uh, I need I need nukes. I have to... Hmm, nukes. Good. Uh, good. Good. Throw in right there and there. I start producing some of those bad boys. I need them. Because this is just... I don't know. I legit don't know what's going on anymore. I don't care how many men it takes. Just kill them. I don't care. I really don't. This is one of the most disappointing things I've seen in my entire campaign doing this stuff. I did click Naval Invasion Support. I know I clicked it. Don't tell me I didn't click it earlier. I know I did. Ugh. War bonds that it's we've spent so much time that the AI now has another division there. Pathetic. Come on, let's get something else here, I guess. Doesn't matter. Logistics, just take them. Come on. Come on. The faster we do that, the faster we can kill off all these enemy divisions up here. Oof. That's good. Let's get that. Panama, please just die. I mean, that was ridiculous. Oh. Move, move, move. Go crazy. Because our soldiers are dying over here, and I don't know why Colombia doesn't give up. Yeah, I know, there's mountains here. It's garbage to fight here. But with overwhelming air support, we should be able to win. We should be able to win no matter what. Kill them. They should have no manpower left. But they do somehow. They do. I don't know. Uh, this campaign, honestly, is probably going on a little bit too long, in my opinion. Um, good, good, good. Get for subs. Uh, just, yeah, do this. Good. Good. It doesn't matter. I mean, they're not going to listen to me anyway, somehow, some way. Yeah, how are you losing? I have no idea. Like, I know that they threw in a bunch of divisions here, but you guys are also 40 combat with, with a ton of air superiority. So, you disobey orders, you can't win. I don't understand. I just do not understand. Like, how how is this not enough planes? How do I not have enough planes to do damage? 500, 18 air you know, ground support is not enough? To hell it's not enough. Are you kidding me? Like, come on. I don't care what it takes. Either win or die. That's pretty much it at this point. Give me some more planes. <sighs> Give me 800. If I have to use 800 planes just to get out a few Colombian boys, that's, that's ridiculous. That's absolutely ridiculous. And how is Colombia not dead yet? I should not have to go up to that city up there on that port there. I should not need to do that. But we've invaded. So, that means convoy raiding time. Lots of convoy raiding. Holy cow. It's going to be a lot of raiding here. And then all these divisions hiding in Gabon, they're going to die. They're going to die so badly. One, two, three on the line. I 
I don't understand how we couldn't kill them earlier. Good. Kill every single one of them there. Good. Blow up their navy. Blow up everything they have. Losses. Yeah, I'm expecting like 200,000 losses in total from this war. Oh, good. In encirclement. Kill every single one of them off. They deserve nothing. This is similar to the way it was for me trying to take out Canada. Just so much effort grinding away for nothing. But I will finish this campaign by uniting all of South America, which means I will go to war with the U.S. So that will take time. And if someone could explain how Germany has not killed off the Soviet Union yet, that'd be holy crow. Crow? Cow. Good. Kill all these guys off. They don't deserve to live with all the frustration they give us. Well, at least Gabon's dead. And, you know what? Any enemy soldiers, you have signed a death wish. Three divisions? How are you not winning? I have no idea. It's like the game purposely makes it so that you won't win in some, some instances for some reason. I don't understand why. Um, Just take the city, guys. Take the god dang city. You got enough divisions. You got enough strength. Who the hell are you? Panama? How did you get back here? Yep, I need I need nukes. Because this that's not supposed to happen. That's garbage. Come on, move faster, move faster, move faster. Take the god dang city. Kill every single one of them. God dang it, I wanted to kill them. I wanted my desserts, my just desserts. <laughs> my revenge. Because of the frustration that they have given me. I lost a oh, good number. Yeah. Third of a million? That's not enough. I need more casualties for that to make me feel better. Because it's all about feeling better. But anyways, I did it. It took me over 50 minutes just to take a little Colombia and a little bit of Panama. But it is done. Tomorrow we will f finish South Africa because Road to 56 is weird and bonkers. But anyways, I apologize for getting frustrated in this video. It's just... At this point in the game, it's just a grind to a degree. But anyways, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, maybe leave a like. Uh, I'm not going to ask for subs because by the time you're watching this... Most of you guys are probably already subscribed. But anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you have a great, great day, and see you tomorrow.